Before I ask about the film, if someone has actually never seen any of your work before, what is the first thing you want them watching and why? Oh, God, you're going to... Um, out of all my movies? Oh, God, I'm trying to like remember. Your uh, I, I, do you know what? Out of all the... Probably Kingsman, because that was where everything I'd learned, I put it all into one film. So the first Kingsman. I you think? That was, that was I felt like maybe I am directing. Uh, you thanked Peter Jackson in the credits, and I'm just curious, what was the thank you for? Um... Ironically, I, 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 went to, I went and watched his documentary um, and we were beginning to get this film off the ground. That's how long ago it was. It's documentary World War I. And I was nervous because there's elements in the film that people might be going, oh, World War I wasn't like that. I think they think it's all black and white and gruesome. And, I was, and, and Jackson highlighted that, you know, there was, you had good weather during World War I. You had people making jokes De, you know, gallows humor and soldiers humor. So I, I, we didn't know each other, but I reached out to him and, and then he invited me around for a, to his house for a drink when he was in England. And he had all this World War, I had no idea. He, was a war, he had all this World War I memorabilia. He gave me some things, books, and he brought it to life. And he weirdly gave me the confidence. He said, he said, thank God you're making a movie about World War I that people might actually want to watch. Right. Remember, this is before 1917, where it was called as well. Um, and and then he wetter helped. So wetter helped with some of the CG as well. And it's really hard to get wetter because, you know, they're the best end of. And um, and so, yeah, I wanted to thank him. He was he was he made me believe in what making a World War One film. He taught me a lot about World War One and uh, helped me with the CG. So, yeah, he's uh, and he's, a, you know, he seems he's a very nice man. I, I've spoken to him a few times. He's a very nice man. May I ask what sequences Weta contributed it on? Was it like a certain shot or stuff that you were, you, you know what I mean? The World War One section, believe Got it or not. It. Yeah, the right. bit that he was very interested in. He said, okay, we'll help you with that. Right, that makes a lot of sense. And I, yeah. Um, uh, can you talk a little bit about working with Ben Davis on the aesthetic of the film and trying to, and, and what you wanted to do with this compared to the other two Kingsman movies? Well, Ben didn't do the other two. So Ben, ben, yeah. ben and I, my, he was my partner in crime back in Layer Cake days. We did Layer Cake, Stardust and Kick-Ass. And he, I, Ben is the king of long lens photography, right? His dad was one of the best long lens DPs. He used to shoot all the football on film for the World Cups, long lens. So when you're, you know, when you're doing long lens on someone playing a game of football and keeping it in focus and operating. So he, and I said to him, I want to go back to the old technique of long lens photography. He even got the lenses rebuilt that Lawrence of Arabia was shot on. And we just, we went old school and he wasn't scared of that. I, he, I said, do you mind us being brave and really composing our shots and really going back to that epic style of filmmaking that, which was, you know, we all, we watched Lawrence of Arabia and the man who would be king together. And I said, this has to be the man who would be Kingsman and let's bring back that style of filmmaking. Um, and he did it. He did it, you know, and he lit it in camera. You know, it sounds crazy. A lot of these movies, no one bothers lighting anymore. It's just data capturing, where as long as it's got the right level of light, they can manipulate and change everything in the grade. And we were like, no, let's help it in the grade, but let's not create the look in the grade. Uh, as you may know about me, I love asking about the editing process because that's ultimately where it comes together. Um, did you have, when you when you put this together, did you have a much longer cut or was the finished film very close to what you, you know, shot? No, it was very different. We, we cut about an hour out and we, yeah, it was, the hardest thing about the cut was the balance of, you know, some people are watching and giving me the criticism, which is going to come. I'm used to it by now, I'll tell you. Um, of what is this, an action adventure movie or a period drama? And how do these things come together? And what are you doing? And why is this not more like Kingsman? Or is it, why is it, no, well, all that stuff. It's just, it's the answer is that's what we were doing in the edit, trying to blend real life history, not real history, emotion, pathos fun and action and bring it all together um so it was uh the hardest edit i've ever done it took a lot it did take a long time 
what is it one of these things where fans like me will ever see some of that footage or is it all in the vault i have a hell of a vault now of footage you might think i i don't i, yes. I don't like deleted scenes being shown out of context you know when you on these dvds they just whack them up and so i drive everyone nuts because they're you know they're already trying to get them for whenever the dvd of this comes out and i'd rather maybe in x amount of years sit down and do a proper cut with everything in like by the way i just watched rocky versus drago last night just because i <laughs> You know, I, I couldn't believe it. I thought there's a new cut and stuff. And, yep. and I was watching it, and there's a few moments you could see which was the new stuff. Other stuff I, you know, I haven't seen it for so long that I wasn't sure. But but I think that's the way to do it. If you're going to show scenes, put them, if they're not good enough to be in the cut, then they're not good enough to show. So, well, and got stuff that would work if we did a longer cut. You know, there's, lo there's quite a few in my films now. We could kick ass, we could do a longer cut. Um, uh, Kingsman, both Kingsman, definitely the second one. This one, uh, Stardust, not as much. Um, Layer Cake, <laughs> there was no Layer Cake. We, you know, we, we, everything went in there. Otherwise, we've been too short. So uh, yeah. So. If I'm not, when I spoke to you for the second Kingsman movie, I believe you told me you had like an hour of footage that yeah. didn't make the cut, and you were thinking about using some of it for Kingsman three as like flashbacks or ways of in making the story better. Is that still the case? Yes, Kingsman 3 is ready to go. Um, yeah, it's the Kingsman 3, look, I mean, touch wood, you know, but yes, that's, we want to be shooting that in September at the latest next year. Are you still planning on using any of that footage from Kingsman 2? I'm with it, yes. Yes. Right, so that, that uh, I, I want to drill down on that, but I, I will leave you alone. So. Um, I want to ask about one specific sequence in the film because I absolutely love the Rasputin big fight sequence and the way that you married karate, kung fu, Russian dance. Everything about that sequence is so unique and also representative of the way you craft action, which is unlike other people. Can you sort of talk about putting that sequence together and what you wanted to accomplish with it? Yeah, first of all, rest in peace to my partner in crime who sadly died, which is Brad Allen and you know Brad is uh, is I mean Argyle will be the last example of our work together because we we before he died we'd already planned out the action and um, uh, uh, yeah he's the only person I can go to saying look I've got an idea I want to do a Rasputin fight where we use Cossack dancing ballet dancing the Tchaikovsky medley boom, 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 and, and he looks at me and goes, yep, that sounds great. Everybody else would go, what are you talking, literally everybody else said, what are you talking about? And then we sit in a room and we bring in the dancers, bring in the, uh, the action, bring in, in the stunt guys, bring in the actors, and we just forge it and forge it and forge it so that when we shoot it, it's ready to go. I mean, it, it's, it's um, and uh, it was, yeah, it was, it was, um, that's that there's a there's a rescue and action sequence which in an extended cut we'll put back in um but um uh yeah it, it's it's i think the difference is i always try to tell a story in the action all the time you know it's like every beat story 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 and how do we make it original and fun but story 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 so um and how is it not going to be boring and repetitive of what we've done before and brad into that with me there are other second unit directors it really is just bang 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 explosion explosion bang 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 the end we try not to do it that way yeah and again that's one of the reasons i really enjoy your action stuff i already got to stop i'm just going to say congratulations on the movie always awesome to talk with you um i hope the film's a huge hit well if you've got any other questions that you want to just get in touch yeah a hundred hundred percent you know cool. um thank you so much sir all right, nice to see you again.